Alright ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, today we're going to learn how to multiply using the Tate Diagram Strategy. Now, luckily for you, the Tate Diagram Strategy doesn't actually include any tape at all, but it would be a lot cooler if it did. It'd be a lot cooler if you did. <laughs> okay, so... Here we have two problems that you might see uh, in your book or around. You have six groups of three or six times three. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do or our step one is draw, which is my favorite, our, our giant rectangle or this is going to be like our stick of tape. Okay, so let's draw our giant rectangle here. I'm going to draw, well, not too giant, but maybe uh, I think right there will be good. Okay, so here we have our stick of tape. Let's go. That's our step one, okay? Now, let's take a look at our problem. Six times three, or six groups of tape. Okay, so we have our giant tape here, or our giant rectangle. And we have six times three, or six groups. Okay, so we're going to cut this into six groups. It's a cut it. Cut it. Cut it. Cut it. Cut it. Cut it. Cut it, cut it, cut it. Six little pieces of tape and try to make sure they're all even. I know it's kind of hard. So let's see here. I'm going to cut this into six slices here. I'm just going to here. One, two, three, four, and five. So I have six pieces. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, perfect. I have my six groups right there. Okay, so we here, now we've covered this part. We've covered half this problem, six groups, or is the six. We've Step one, we drew our little tape diagram, and then we put it into six equal parts. Perfect, okay? Now, let's, how many do we need to put in here? Well, if you kind of just think about it, we need six groups of three. Okay, so we need to put three in each little group here. So let's go ahead and... Yeah. Three, 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 and three. Okay. So now we have our six groups of three. Okay, perfect. We are about halfway done. <clears throat> now, all you need to do is... Let's just add them up. Okay, I am going to do this a little bit... I'm going to do a little bit faster strategy. I'm going ahead and clump these up to make my life a little bit easier. For example, I know that 3 plus 3 is 6. This 3 plus 3 is 6. And this 3 plus 3 is 6. Perfect. So now it's like we have 6 plus 6 plus 6. And you could do your repeated addition sentence. 6 plus 6 plus 6. 6 plus 6 is 12. Another 6 is 18. So 6 times 3 is 18, or 6 groups of 3 equals 18. Boom. And that is how to multiply using the tape diagram strategy. But we're not done. I also like to tell my students that, yes, you have your repeat addition sentence, but you need to practice your multiplication sentence. So let's go ahead and practice. So our answer is 6 times 3 equals 18. And let's practice commutative property. 3 times 6 equals 18. Oh, and there you have it. That's how to multiply using the tape diagram strategy.